Hey there, this is Sumit So. I'm a front-end web developer and today I'm sharing another cool thing that can take your development to another level. I'm talking about Webpack. Webpack is a module bundler combine multiple JavaScript files and their dependencies into a single static asset. It can handle JavaScript files written in both common JS and ES6 syntax. Additionally, Webpack supports loading other file types such as SAS files which can convert it to CSS using the SAS loader. Similarly, file loader is used to load images and videos. Okay, what limitations can arise if Webpack is not employed in a JavaScript project? Suppose we are building a module for a car game. It only contains JavaScript files. The purpose of our module is to build a car. So we have created different files for different parts. Let's say we have car.js as a file where we are assembling all the parts and building a class for the car. Now we as a developer allowing user to build a car of their choice. While this process may sound simple, but it's not that easy to build an independent JavaScript module. Things can get tricky when it's time to test the module because the module may have internal dependencies and it can be frustrating to manage a complex structure and we often encounter errors related to dependency order and even syntax. This is particularly true when some files rely on external module built in old ES5 syntax. Thankfully, Webpack comes to rescue by compiling all these dependency into a single bundle.js file. Now it's time to initialize Webpack project. All you need to do is install Webpack as dev dependency, create a configuration file, define entry for your project. In previous example, it was car.js and obviously we need output object for compiled code. If we are using things like TypeScript or SAS, we need different loader for a particular type of file. And obviously we can set mode for our project, whether it's for production or development. Now these are basic things we can do in Webpack project. If you want to explore more, you can visit their website.